Okay, this is multiplying two digits by one digit. Multiplication, as we've learned, is looking at groups and pieces. So we look at how many groups we have and how many pieces are in each of those groups. Combine those together to get our product. So for example, if we have 35 times 4, we can say, well, we have 35 groups and we have 4 pieces in each group. Or we can also write that as 4 times 35, which means that we have four groups and we have 35 pieces in each group. Either way we look at that, we have, when we multiply that together, we're going to end up with 140 pieces. All right, so there's a couple different ways that we can multiply two digits by one digit. I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to walk you through each of those steps. So this first one we're going to do is just called the standard way. And we're going to multiply, we have 26 times 4. We have four groups with 26 pieces in each group. And it looks like this. Whenever we multiply, we always write the larger number on top, smaller number on the bottom. In this case, we put the 4 on the bottom. Both of our factors are there. And we start in the 1's place. So in this case, we're going to multiply 6 times 4, which gives us 24. I'm going to write down the 4 in the 1's place. And I'm going to regroup over to the 10's place. And now I'm going to multiply the tens place. 4 times 2 is 8. And then we have this guy hanging out up here. So what we're going to do is just like we did with uh, when we ad did addition, we're just going to add him in. So again, 4 times 2 is 8. We're going to add in that 2. gives us 10. And so our answer, or our product, is 104. Let's look at another one. Here we go. Again, we have 48 times 3 three groups with 48 in it. We start in the ones place. Three times eight, well three times eight is 24, so I put down my four. Regroup, carry that over there. Three times four is 12, and 12 plus this two up here, don't forget this guy, 12 plus two gives us 14. Our product is 144. Now, another way that we can do that is we can uh, break this number into its expanded form and multiply that way. Let me show you what that looks like. So I have 18 times 5. I'm going to rewrite that in expanded form. So I have 10 plus 8 times 5. And then I can say 5 times 10 gives me 50. And 5 times 8 gives me 40, and just add those together, so 18 times 5 will give me 90. Let's look at another one. I have 67 times 4. So again, we're going to break this out into our expanded form, because so now we have 60 plus 7. Multiply each of those by 40. I'm sorry, by 4. 60 times 4 is 240, and 7 times 4 is 28. And then we add 240 and 28 together, and we get 268 is our product. It's very simple to do. Let's look at one. We'll do one more like that. Let's do 38 times, we'll say 3. So 38 times 3. Again, we're going to break this into expanded form. 30 and 8. Multiply each of those times 3. So 30 times 3 gives me 90. And 8 times 3 gives me 24. And then I add those together, and I end up with a product of... Sorry, I'm adding all my symbols in. 90 plus 24 equals 114. So that's another strategy you can use, is the expanded form. The last one that I want to show you is uh, using equal groups. So let's, let's look at this. Let's do... We'll do 28 times... Three. Okay, so now we know we have three groups, and we have 28 pieces in each group. And now, you could do 28 little dots like this, but that's going to take a long time, and it's, it's very easy to get confused. So, what we'll do instead, what we'll do instead is we're going to draw three groups like this. One, two, three. And I'm going to just draw a simple base 10 project. So for 28, it looks like this. Draw one stick, two sticks, there's our tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I just come to count up my tens. I've got ten, twenty, hold on, let me do this. 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Write down 60. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Go to the second group. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Go to the third group. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24. So we can count up all the ones. There are 24. We add that together. 60 plus 24 gives me 84. Just like that. All right, I'll show you one more. We're going to do 54 times 4. So again, this time what we're going to do is we have four groups. So let's draw our four groups. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to put our uh, simplified base 10, so we need 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and put in our 1s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, one, two, three, four. and then we'll just count those up, 10, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. So we have 200 plus, we'll count up our ones. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 200 plus 16. And that gives us a product of 216. So there, there you go. There's three uh, ways to solve two-digit by one-digit multiplication. Let's, we'll scroll back through real quick. Go all the way back here. Oop, too far. We can do it the standard way. We can do it using the expanded form. Or you can always draw... Uh, equal groups and count up the, using the simplified base 10. If you do that method, please make sure that you, and I'm going to write this down, count and add carefully. You don't want to make any mistakes in the simple math problems like that. Okay, if you have any questions, please uh, speak with me or speak to your teacher. And good luck with your two-digit by one-digit multiplication.